Hello, how are you all doing? I hope everything is going well for you. So welcome back to this week's episode of Bookkeeping Essentials. I am Janelia and I will be with you in today's episode. We will be tackling the process of bookkeeping, which is one of the most essential segments of this bookkeeping series. Generally, the process of bookkeeping involves understanding business accounts, maintenance of books, recording transactions, balancing the books, and preparing financial reports. To start with, it is important to understand business accounts. Before performing bookkeeping, there must be a clear understanding about the business transactions and accounts for the respective business. And as we all know, the basic types of business accounts include assets, liabilities, income or revenue, expenditure or expense, and equity. Why are transactions and accounts important? It is because we need to understand the transactions very well before recording them under the appropriate accounts. Otherwise, the results may not be accurate. The second one is maintenance of books. All details from the documents such as invoices, receipts, credit notes, or petty cash vouchers should be recorded in the books of original entry. They also need to be kept safely for future references. So after recording all the necessary details in the books of entry, they will be transferred to a very well-known basic book of accounts, the ledger, which contains records of all the debits and credits in the business operations. And with the help of the progressing technology, a lot of software is being used nowadays in processing of entries in the original book of accounts for a faster and more convenient recording. The next one is recording transactions. As the main activity in bookkeeping, all of the business transactions must be recorded in the books of accounts. Also, before the bookkeeper will start working, the financial accounts and the bookkeeping system of a business must be ready. Every transaction must be recorded under the correct accounts. Otherwise, it will cause a mismatch in the account balances that will lead to none other than non-closure of books. And one more reason why we do all of these works is to know if the business is making profit, only if the total of the credits is greater than the debits, and vice versa. To proceed, the fourth one is balancing the books. So when talking about balancing books, we immediately think of adding all the debits and credits of an account to get the difference, right? But before that, a complete list of all the accounts must be compiled by the bookkeeper. He or she is also required to ensure that debit and credit rows are equal in total. If not, then adjustments need to be made by the bookkeeper. After the adjustments, debits and credits must be tallied. It usually happens at the end of a quarter or year. The last process in bookkeeping is when the bookkeeper will finally be preparing financial reports. After recording all the business accounts, then the maintenance of books, there will be recording of transactions and balancing books. When the books are balanced and a summary of the flow of money in each account will be done. It will provide the company a clear picture of its financial status which affects the decision-making process of the company in the near future. The standard financial reports created in bookkeeping include profit and loss statements, balance sheets, and cash flow statements. And that will be all for today. I hope you gained knowledge about the process of bookkeeping. Once again, I am Janelia and thank you all for watching. More episodes are about to come, so always stay tuned. Stay safe and have a great day, everyone.